<laughs> the caveman. These guys had a rough life. But if there's one thing that we can take from them now is their diet. Caveman ate like a lot of health nuts do now. No chemicals, no GMOs, no artificial gobbly goop. Even further than that, all their nutrition came from unprocessed sources. Not from choice, mind you, but because that kind of technology just wasn't around at the time. As deadly as the caveman lifestyle could be, their diet seems to carry some weight. But this is something we should utilize today, or should we just leave it in the past? To find out, I talked to an expert that knows a thing or two about nutrition. Could you just kind of give me a brief overview what is considered a paleo diet? Well, paleo is hunter-gatherer. Okay. That is before the agricultural age. So their, their biggest, um, on, the, on their pyramid, the largest area is meat. Okay. Meat, fat, um, nut butters, and that type of thing. So whatever they could hunt and gather is what they ate. You know, a lot of people don't realize that meat... Um, which paleo is still a glucose fueled diet. Okay. Because they have fruit, they have um, they have a lot of carbs. They do not have grains. They do not have dairy or legumes. They do not have um, anything processed. They they accept pretty much all fruits and vegetables. They don't do potatoes. Okay. Again, they don't do grains. Um, some paleo, you know, there's so many different variations of the diet, but some do um, do some sweet potatoes. Okay. Um, they do not do refined oils. They use, um, they do use butter. Right. Coconut oil, coconut products, um, duck fat, which there's nothing better <laughs> I was gonna say, than I, duck fat. I like duck fat. Um, I think duck Free fat range is fantastic. lard, okay. um, beef tallow. So those would be the fats that they cook right. with. Right. That sounds like an interesting uh, cooking experience. These diets are more lifestyles than, well, I want to lose, I just like to lose 10 pounds. Right. I'm going to go paleo for, you know, a short right. time and lose it. These are you make it a, a conscious choice. Yes. And you're, you're, yes. I'm going to stick yes. to it. Yes. Yeah. I would figure eating a lot of meat and stuff like that would probably not be the best crash diet. Um, I think there might be a little bit of time. Well, like if you were trying to lose weight in two weeks before a wedding, I think your body might have trouble adjusting to that change. You might not see what you want to see, but I think right. three months down the road, you might see a difference. So it sounds like the Paleolithic diet has some legitimate claim. But standing over a flame with a steak on a stick doesn't really relay itself to real life. So here are a few recipes that make it easy to eat like a caveman.
So there are just a few things you can make following the caveman diet. Now, we may have only scratched the surface, but there are a plethora of things to choose from when you decide to eat paleo. Just remember, always do your own research and make something that you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching. Frank Bookart, stay healthy and eat well.